the pavers were one of the two options that we had for the site. And one of the interesting things about this project was the county was responsible for the retention pond, not us as the landowners. One of the ways that we looked at it was the standpoint that we were able to retain an acre and a half of land. Once you give up land, you're never going to get it back, especially for a facility. There was an upfront investment for the pavers. There's about 9.6 acres of the pavers, 1.7 million of them. The long term, the maintenance on these pavers is significantly less than asphalt. There's no puddling, no ponds, and it looks fantastic. Customers love it, our employees love it, and it has a life cycle of 100 years. We sweep it twice a year. We bought a, we ended up investing in our own sweeper because you need to keep the cracks in, the, in between the pavers clear so that you, the water can percolate through back to the native soil. The roof is, a, in essence, a giant rainwater capture system. There's a pump system that pumps it uh, into one tank, a 20,000 gallon tank, and there's an adjacent tank next to it the same size, and the pressure equalizes in the two so we can store 40,000 gallons of rain. We uh, use that water to rinse the cars. Our car wash system at max capacity will use about 30,000 gallons of water a month, and then we recycle the wash water as well. So we're able to not use city water, we're able to use the rain water. When the site was designed, one of the elements of the design was to monitor the pavers effectiveness. So in the two and a half years we've been monitoring the site, we've had one event where water ran off the site and that was after three days of very intense rainfall. But it was a relatively small amount of water. So we consider it a success.